Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today is going to be a continuation of the video I did a few days ago where I started my very own NeoVim config file. Um, and basically I'm just going to go through and do some more of the basics that I've been missing over the last couple of days because there's been a few things that I've not put in the file yet that I've completely, <laughs> I've really, really missed. Uh, so we're, that's what I'm going to do today. Um, I don't know how much, you know, like I said in the other video, this is not a tutorial. If you learn something from it, great. If you don't, just watch along and we'll have some fun. Uh, if you consider dealing with NeoVim config files fun, then you're a nerd like me. Congratulations. You have a nerd cred card. Uh, I definitely have mine. Uh, I like things in the terminal. <laughs> Anyways, let's, uh, let's jump over to the main screen here. And we'll uh, get started. So, yeah, thing and vim. So this is what my nvim file looks like so far. And I want to do go to another workspace here and open up a browser. Uh, and I want to first. I want to do. I want to um, line numbers in vim. Okay, so you're gonna see me do the the research right alongside. Uh, you're gonna get to do, see the research in live action here. So let's see here. Yeah, I want to set it permanently. And the this is what you do in a. Thing. Yeah, I don't care about hybrid permanent settings. Okay, so we should just be able to do. All right, so let's go back over here and CD into general and uh, vim into general dot vim. And we'll just do set, oops, I forgot, insert mode, set relative number. Okay, let's see if that works. It does, in fact, work. Cool. Excellent. We got started. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is put in some... Uh, I want to put in some key bindings to control, get back and forth between splits, because right now I have no clue what the stock's key bindings to get between splits are. Uh, I'm sure it's like command W, command J, or some, or not command, control, but it's some weird, funky thing. Um, so we're going to quit out of this. And we're going to CD up a level and into key bindings. And we'll vim key bindings dot vim. Okay. And that's a, uh, oops, wrong, wrong one, wrong browser. So we want to find out. Um, actually, I think the best way to do this is just to look at the old, the old uh, nvim file. So CD documents. Uh, actually, I think it's downloads. You get things in them. Yeah. CD. Uh, let's see here. It's going to be in keys. It's them mappings. All right. So these. So we need these here. All right. So. Insert mode. I'm app. C dash H. If you wonder why I'm typing that, these out, it's because I want to feel accomplished, you know, <laughs> that I actually did something instead of just copying and pasting a config file of somebody else's. You know, it's stupid, but I'm still going to do it. It's I'm app. I think what we can do is just yank this and 
paste it. J, K, L, Y, it's weird that Vim doesn't use the default Vim bindings to move back and forth between splits. Isn't that weird? I mean, it's just really weird. <laughs> it's like, it's, I mean, it's just dumb. I mean, I'm completely lost as to why that would be, you know. So J K L J K L K okay so if we could quit this and we open up this and we can open up a vertical split now we should be able to do control J and K no that did not work so those aren't the right ones okay Hmm. All right. Well, which ones do I need here in order to, to go back and forth between splits? I thought that those were the right ones. Terminal window navigations. Better window navigations. Why does he have those twice? This is the exact. No, those aren't the same ones. Okay, so let's see what the difference is. I have no clue what IMAP it versus NNO remap is. I'm going to have to figure that out. NNO remap. Okay. C dash H. C dash W. H. Okay. We'll yank this and paste it four times. Change letter J J K K L L K and we'll try again. Now control. Aha, uh -huh, there we go. Aha, uh -huh, we're cooking with fire now, people. We have the right uh, key bindings. Now, these ones here will be used to resize splits, I think. And these will use all HJKL. Okay. Yeah, I think I want those. Okay, so let's, uh, let's close one of these. Alright. And... We want to uh, use Alt plus Vim keys to resize windows. Okay, and move, use Vim keys to move between splits. Okay. And then oh, remap. This doesn't need to be commented out. Okay. Silent. M dash J. I think this is a tab. No, not resize minus two. CR. Okay, and then we're gonna yank that and paste it four times. Okay, and these just need to be the, the Vim keys. So J, K, H, L, and this needs to be plus, and this one needs to be read vertical. Oops. Vertical. Make sure I spelled the damn thing right. Plus. 
Okay, now we'll close that and reopen it and do a vertical split. Now we should be able to do Alt plus. I'm having a feeling that that's those key bindings aren't going to work on my system because I think I have Alt and the Vim key bindings to something else. I don't know why it would be. Alt, let's see here, vertical, H and, yeah. Yeah, those don't work. Interesting. I have a feeling it's because there's a conflict. I'll have to do some investigating uh, later on to see, you know, you know, what, what the conflict is. Cause I'm not sure what that would be. So like all the other key, key bindings that this old one had that I actually think I need. All right. Now I'm going to close out of this and close out of this and CD up a level and into plugins and then plugins dot vim. Okay. Now, we want to do some more plugins. So, Vim plugins. <clears throat> Vim Awesome, which I will link to in the description below, uh, is a great website for finding really cool uh, Vim uh, plugins. And obviously, this will work with you know NeoVim as well. So. Uh, let's see. I don't think I want Nerd Tree. I think I'm going to use Ranger instead. Because I like Ranger better. So, like, the Ranger is brought up like this on my system. And, um, yeah, I think I pre I'm going to prefer Ranger. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. We want a Airline because that's cool. Okay. So, let's see how it's installed with them plug okay we need this line here okay apparently I'm going to have to save it and quit okay so There we go, and we have a uh, plug, we have airline installed, so we'll have to go through and actually theme that, so we'll close out of that side, go back to five, or four, and see what we have to do in order to find the themes. Um, integrates a variety of plugins, including all these things here, which is good, I suppose. Exclusive sweetest theme, the color scheme, including Solar Eyes, Tomorrow, Base 16, Molokai, Jelly Beans, and others. Themes repository. Okay. This plugin follows a standard runtime path structure, and as such, it can be installed with a variety of... Wait, do I... Is... I don't actually have to do the themes separately, do I? Maybe I do have to do the... the themes separately. Okay. Go ahead and Okay. Okay, good. Now this Using a theme. Once installed, airline use airline theme to set up the theme, and or you can put it in the uh, VimRC file. All right, that's great. But I want to see the listing of the themes. Where are the themes? Okay, show me the themes. Okay. 
So I can go through and do this one airline thing. Let's see what if this will let me browse them. Well, here we go. Let's see if one dark is an option. Dark. Oh, there's a lot of themes here. I want one dark. Monochrome. Apparently one dark. Oh, I went past it. Haha, -ha, there we go. Haha, -ha, that's cool. Alright, I'm wondering if that will save between sessions. It does not. Okay, so in the our general here. I'm going to do cd dot dot slash general vim general dot vim. We're going to have to put that thing in there. This line here. Okay. Okay. And we want this to be one dark. Okay. And that doesn't, seem, that doesn't seem to work. Have worked. I wonder why not. Did I spell it wrong? Oh, there's no. I wonder why they put, why they insisted on putting chevrons there. That's dumb. Okay. No. It's gonna be, should be very easy. Yeah. There we go. Cool. Themed. Bam. All right, so what's next? So we got that. So let's go back to uh, this here. I want the CSS thing. Persistent color scheme. We don't need that. Uh, tag bar. Don't need that. Um, eventually, I'll do some code completion stuff, but I probably will just use COC again. Um, it's bloated, but it works. You know, the best of all these. Um, the one that I want the most is going to be uh, CSS. Um, the CSS color thing. The M I wonder if I, I can do something more general than CSS because I want all colors to be co Vim color solarize. Let's see, grow box. That's not none of these things are actually going to be the things that I need. Uh, <clears throat> Highlight colors, maybe. Vim CSS color. That's probably gonna be the ones I'm when I'm gonna actually have to use. Um, do 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 do. Highlight lines or patterns of interest in different colors. No. I wonder what the difference between this one and this one is. We're, I wonder what the uh, probably means this one here is the, uh, actually still maintained. No, this one hasn't been updated in 10 years. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's see if the other one has been updated more recently. This one here. No, also 10 years. That's just going to be exactly the same. I wonder why it was submitted twice. Um, I guess I shouldn't be scared away that it hasn't been, you know, all right, three, five. Okay, we're gonna go back to plugins. CD dot dot slash plugins. Then plugins dot vim. Okay. Plug install. Okay, good. And uh, let's uh, see if I have a CSS file here. What? Um, yeah. All right. So CD.mozilla. No, that's not the right one. CD documents pages. Okay. Less CD. Uh, let's see. Vim main.css. Yeah. All right. Here we go. 
Somewhere around here, there should be a color. Yeah, see, that's not working. This, sh this color should be highlighted in something. Maybe that was the wrong plugin. I wonder which one. CD, uh, let's see, plug, vim plug. All right, let's see. Better comments, change dates, convert binary, repeat stuff, text navigation, useful for React commenting, uh, highlight all matches under cursor. Easy for VS Code, sneak, which I don't need, surround, which I already have, files. I have a file, file system, Vim Rooter, Vim Sleuth, Polyglot. I'm wondering if it's going to be this one. Mm, auto pairs, close tags, one dark, which is, uh, I believe I already have. I guess I don't already have that right now. I guess it doesn't matter right now. I don't need it. Um, I'll worry about theming it later once I get the plugins that I want to use done. I uh, see COC, which we're going to do later. Uh, Fuzzy Finder, Git Gutter, Fugitive, Rhubarb, GV, G yeah, Vim, Float Terms, Spartify, Vista. I, you know, I forgot that I've not. I really got to learn to uh, zoom in every time. I'm sorry about that. I have a sticky note on the bottom of my monitor that says, always zoom in. Now, I I need another sticky note on my forehead that says, always look at the freaking sticky note. <laughs> it's dumb. All right. All right. Let's see here. Um, interactive code. X tab line. Don't need that. Undo tree. wonder why you'd need this one, because time travel is already built into Vim. Mm, I don't know. Um, window snap, preview, gist, NVim colorizer. I bet you it's going to be that. NVim colorizer. I bet you it's going to be that. This one right here. This one. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Okay, so this is what we need. Okay, so what we're going to do is actually go through and delete the CSS color one because that was 10 years ago. And, and we'll do this. And we'll bring into this and do plugin. First, we'll do plugin clean. Yes. Okay, I'm going to close that and do. Plug install. Okay, now that's good. Now close this, and we will let's open up a scratch pad and go to cd dot uh, c dot documents pages vim main dot css. Now that's still not working. <laughs> That's weird, that doesn't work, right? I mean, it should work. Hmm. Well, I'm stumped. There has to be a, another... Um, let's go back to 4 here and see if there's something else we have to do. Installation usage. So when you plug a manager clone directly into the runtime path, as long as you have mail OC or free in your system, this will work, which includes Linux, OS X, and Windows. One line setup. Um, this will create an auto command or file type highlight. So you need you should add this line after below where your plugins are set up. Okay, so I'm gonna guessing I'm gonna have to put this in the init.vim file. Okay. 
cd up level vim init.vim and okay My guess is that's going to be an S tier. That's my guess is that that's going to be an S tier. Let's get rid of uh, get rid of S T and just you know C D uh, I three con will work. Actually, Vim fig polybar. I can't type. No, nope, it's not an S tier. Um, term GUI colors must be set. Hmm. Do 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 do. Yeah, I'm not sure what that is. Okay, well, you want to know what? We've been going for half an hour, and I've done quite a few of the things that I needed to do. Um. If you don't have true color in your terminal and aren't sure, read this excellent guide. I do have terminal colors, I think. I hope. I don't know. I'll have to investigate that later. Anyways, I'm done for now. There probably will be a part three of this video while I continue to to putter around with creating my own config file. Uh, this is just me having fun. Uh, I don't know if anybody's going to actually watch these videos. It doesn't bother me. I'm just having fun. That's really all I want to do is have some fun with, with NVIM. Maybe practice with uh, creating my own config file and learning new things. That's really what I'm here for is learning new things. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. If you want to support the channel, you can do so in, well, there's more than two ways. But the two main ways I'm going to mention, you can subscribe, which is completely 100% free and takes literally no effort. Uh, so if you watched this far into the video and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, we love our subscribers. I love our subscribers. I, it, it's gross how much I love you. You love you subscribers. You're all 40, like four, 45 of you. <laughs> it's a little creepy. Anyways, you can also, if you uh, are monetarily enabled, um, you can support us on Patreon at patreon.com slash the Linux cast. Um, nobody's done that yet. So apparently nobody's monetarily enabled. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching. We'll uh, catch you next time.